Hi, I'm Phyllis from southernfrugal.com. This morning we're in the foyer again and we're going to finish this work this morning. Now I have to have my light off because this paint, the uh, gold color is so close to the color that was on the wall, I can't tell where I've painted and where I haven't, so I have to paint with the light off, I know. Anyway, uh, what I want to share with you, I don't think I did this on the two previous videos, was what the kind of paint I used. There it is. I used Velspar, and I really love this paint above all others. I really do. I've used it for several years now, but it has uh, hardly any odor whatsoever, and it, it does very, very good coverage. And it's, I think, you know, it's sort of economical when you think you can paint a wall with one coat a lot of times. But anyway, the other thing I wanted to share with you was this. Uh, now this is the white paint, it's um, a semi-gloss, or excuse me, it's um, not semi-gloss, it's a uh, satin finish. And um, this is paint that I poured in this bottle from uh, several years ago, probably more than 10 now. The kitchen cabinets are painted with it and all of the uh, trim work in the whole house is this same color of white because as y'all know, you can get I don't know how many different colors of white. So I wanted to make sure all of it uh, was the same. So I'm going to use some of this this morning to uh, paint on this uh, trim work all around the bottom and anywhere there are little nicks like right I see one right there and one right there but anyway uh, I'm gonna also just lightly sand this top area here and paint that just to make it look even neater and here's another thing uh, in decorating especially when you're decorating these older houses the thing to remember is uh, back then they used a lot of jewel tone colors and as long as your uh, trim work around your doors and all that is white you can mix any colors and what the white does is gives you a little transition from room to room I don't know if it shows up or not but my living room is an apple red the dining room is sort of an adobe color this room is gold and as you can see that uh, kitchen is kind of a lilac purple color and I mainly did that because I got that paint for eight dollars a gallon and it only takes one gallon to paint the kitchen and it also somewhat matches the tile on the kitchen counters. Now we're thinking about changing that color and I know on the video it looks like periwinkle blue really but it's actually a, a lilac color. But anyway, we're thinking about changing that color. And also, if you can see from here back in the den there, that wall is a deep green. Well, we're definitely going to change that. And also, the office in the back is a pink color because I think it's called something Dusty Rose or something. And we painted it that color uh, for my mother for when she would come and visit us. And she that was her favorite color. So we painted that room and we just haven't repainted it. So uh, anyway, we're going to get started this morning. Now, you can see going up the stairs, I don't know if it shows up or not, but there's some little marks on the stairs going up. So we're going to make this room like, you know, just as neat as we can possibly make it and look as good as we can possibly make it. So the new owners of this house will come into a cleanly painted house and hopefully they'll understand this is a early 1900 house and the colors kind of are from that period. All right, so we're going to get started on this and uh, we are definitely going to finish this up today, really. And uh, anyway, I'm very, very happy with the color. Um, it, 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 just, it just matched perfectly the color that was there before. And, uh, and it all looks neat and clean. So anyway, we will, uh, I'll come back and uh, do a video once we uh, get everything painted. It doesn't take the paint long to dry at all. So we'll get this room back together today or maybe tonight, I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna get going on it today and get it finished. 
all right we will see y'all well we'll just we'll just plan on doing the video tonight yeah because the video shows up better at night all right so we'll see you then hi i'm phyllis from southernfrugal.com well we have completed painting the for the uh, foyer and everything's looking pretty good but i tried to touch up some of the little nicks that are in the uh, little baseboards and of course the paint has yellowed over time and we did look back and uh, this uh, foyer the uh, white on the wood trim everywhere was painted nine years ago so the window i did two years ago and the window right here that window's fine that's no problem and it's a good thing because it takes forever to paint that and i'll show you why see all those little things there all the different little panes it takes forever to paint it so anyway i have decided i'm going to have to paint all the trim all the way up the steps the back of the steps right here all of it <laughs> so i definitely made more work for myself but anyway I, you know i want to do it as if i were doing it for myself or whoever's going to buy this house so I'm just going to go ahead and do it. And uh, so y'all won't get an update on the foyer probably till I'm going to guess the middle of next week because uh, I'm not going to rush myself. The walls are looking really, really good. And that one can of paint, I'll show you. I don't know if you can see up the steps. I don't have the light on. But that one can of paint did paint all the way up the steps. You can't really see up there. But anyway, I'm going to do all of this uh, white that's in the room. And uh, so that's going to take me some more time. And I really don't care. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. And uh, let's see. That's about it. Um, of course, we, what we've been uh, eating, uh, the food that I've frozen in the freezer, those little meals. Uh, so we've been eating really good. And, of course, we've been still having the smoothies every morning, too. And I did um, take one bag of those greens I bought at Walmart and ground them up and froze them because I didn't want them to go out of date. But anyway, let's just walk around and I'll let you see. Let me turn my camera back around. Yeah, so the, the yellow paint, it's called uh, Golden Chimes is the name of it. And it's... Uh, uh, it's a Velspar paint, and I got it at Lowe's. So let's just walk around here. And, of course, you know, on the camera, the woodwork looks great, right? But see, I don't know if y'all can tell, right over here, the top of the molding is painted and the bottom is not. So can y'all sort of see the difference? And that post right there is painted, but up here is not. So I had one little place over here I wanted to touch up, which I did. And I know that no one would probably even know this, right? But I would know. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint all of it. So what's involved there is I'm gonna to have to sand it, you know, with a 220 sandpaper, everything that's white, except that wonder right there. And thank God I don't have to do that. But anyway, we're just going to go ahead, and uh, I also didn't realize that, see the plug in there? When I was changing out these plugs, I, must, I was changing out the inside of them to make them white, and I think I ran out of, of covers, because I did a lot of them in the house and everything upstairs. So I've got to get uh, another cover for that plug in, and I have to get a white one, because see the rest of it is white and the one over at the door. Okay, so there's an update. Uh, I do think the color is a little bit more golden than the color that was in here, which I think will work out great because it's more of a jewel tone gold. Yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna have to paint everything else. So anyway, 
All right, we will see y'all next time. I'm pretty tired of painting. It took, I guess it took uh, two days to paint the walls uh, using the brush, but I do think the results are so much better. And of course the cleanup is almost nothing when you're painting with a brush. I mean, assuming you're pretty careful with it, right? All right, we will see y'all for smoothies on Monday, I guess. I think there's a bug on my camera there. Well, all right, we will see y'all next time.